This is Modern Homesteading. May 31st to June 1st is Mother Earth News Fair in Puyallup, Washington, and we have tickets to give away, and here is the uh, here are the winners. Free ticket giveaway. This is a ticket, uh, this is for a weekend passes for two people. So each name that we'll re read, you'll receive two passes for Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Uh, Justin Shaw, you have one too. Lee Bledsoe, um, Brian Nichols, Colorado Nature, and Jeanette Chamberlain. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now you'll need to redeem these tickets. You'll need to get back with us in 24 hours from the time this video goes live. If we don't hear from you, uh, then we'll uh, pick a replacement. Yes. 24 hours. So uh, also- How about 36? You're such a softy. Well, we were a little late reporting. All right. Why were we late reporting? Because life got crazy. Life got crazy. Yeah. 36 hours. Okay. 36 hours it is, and uh, so and they need to contact us. How? Private message? YouTube? Sure. Okay, send me a private message on YouTube, put in the subject heading Mother Earth News Ticket Winner, or something to that effect. And then uh, we'll get with Mother Earth News and make arrangements to get your passes. I don't know if they'll be mailed to you, they'll probably be on will call, but uh, we'll, we'll contact you privately about that. So congratulations to the winners, that's in uh, less than two weeks. Yeah, one All week. Right. Um, did you want to make a, those people, some people have not contacted us or RSVP'd about the Monday. That's okay. Okay. So if you are coming, um, please uh, send us an email uh, to wranglerstaropenhouse at gmail.com. Uh, just, just to uh, confirm. Just to confirm. So that's it. Well, oh, the squirrel. Um, Hold him up there so we can see. Got a little baby squirrel the other day, and we're gonna show a little footage after this. This little squirrel fell out of his nest out of the tree, and Jack nursed him back to health, and we're hoping to uh, um, return him back to the wild. But at the end of this video, there'll be some bonus footage of Jack's baby pine squirrel. <laughs> See you guys later. Well, it took a lot of sleep. He's been sleeping all day, and now he's. Really chipper. He actually didn't have much of a wound at all. Just a bloody nose from the fall. So what we're what I would speculate is that he was up in a maple tree. Uh, we have a squirrel family up there, and he probably ventured out and, being inexperienced, fell. And if he fell where we think he fell from, he fell about 30 feet. Mm -hmm. And when he fell, uh, it looks like he probably landed on his nose, and he got a little bloody nose, and he was not doing very good. Jack stumbled upon him and has been nursing him back to health over the last four hours and we didn't have anything to feed him so we've been feeding him almond milk with a eyedropper which he seems to like and we gave him uh, some water with electrolytes in it and he is a new squirrel now <laughs> i didn't think he was going to make it his nose is a little boogered up there but i don't think it's anything major and he keeps sneezing maybe he is Pollen allergies. <laughs> so there's one thing that Mrs. Wranglestar really does not like, and that is any type of a furry rodent. That's correct. Is that right? That's correct. We've so, seen always a rodent. So we we have the cat house, which the squirrel doesn't mind the smell of. Probably come up with a better word for it. The, the cat kennel. The pet taxi. The pet taxi. And so we have, what do we de determine? So the squirrel is gonna live in Jack's room until he's big enough to set loose? No, we have not determined that. Where's he gonna live? Uh, the cold room. 